everyone welcome to the channel uh, this video is um, going through uh, a pile of books that I have de-stashed um, so every so often I go through and I look at things and I'm like I haven't coloured in that am I going to colour in that um, and if not it's got to go because there's other books out there that I do want to colour in so um yeah these are the books that are going and um it's a difficult decision to decide that things are going but limited space so there you go so <laughs> i'm getting rid of some of my pepin books um because when i as much as i love them i know i'm not going to color them so they need to go. So this one that's going is Art Deco Tiles. These are watercolour cards. So as you can see, it's 250 GSM. So really good quality card. Um, it's in this flip style, glued at the top. So you tear them out. Uh, it is watercolour paper. It's got texture to it. But for me, these lines are just too faint. And... They're too detailed. I want to do like marker pen or glitter gel pen or something. And it just won't work in these. Um, so it's got to go. Um, I've got a couple of postcard books from Pepin. Situation's exactly the same. 250 GSM. Beautiful images. But the line art is too faint for me. And they're too detailed, so they're going to have to go. So this is India. And then I've also got uh, Bali. I see these. These I like, as you go that way. Uh, but this, it's just never going to happen. Way too detailed. So they've got to go. And I, I just... It's going to be incredibly rare that I keep a book that I'm not going to colour in. Um, <clears throat> that's not what my hobby is. So, yeah. I do have some art books, but mo most of my books are colouring books. So this one is Postcard Colouring Book, 24 Designs from Nature. And this is by Maisonette. Um... So at the front we've got the coloured versions and the these are nice, these are perforated here uh, and they are cardstock. I don't think it says, it doesn't say there, no it just says they're card which they are. Um, this was a charity shop find. And it, uh, it is a really nice book, but I've coloured the Dalmatian how many times? Once. I've covered the butterflies again once. And then these others, like animals I'd colour, but I don't even like the parrots. So <laughs> that one's going as well. Enchanting Names by Jim Shaw. Uh, spiral bound at the top I do like this they are super cute but how many would I want to colour so I'm not a mega mega gnome fan so this just isn't going to happen ok the next one is Lots of Dots by Anna and Sheena and Shina this book is cute, I do like it, but it's such an expensive book and then like 50% of the, I'm not kidding you, 50% of the book, is, okay, a third of the book is not colouring pages, so that's an entire book there. And then the images are so basic, so simple. I don't know, they are pretty, but no. 
This is an expensive book. The, the books have got to really excite me. They've got to spark joy. Otherwise, I don't have room. I don't have room on the um, on the bookcase. Jim Shaw Angels. I am not a big fan of Angels. Uh, but I saw this and I thought it was good because at the back it's got these card bits that you cut out and you can 3D -ify the angels. So I did this one. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, but they are 3D'd. So I did like that. Um, and what I did was I found his real version and I copied the colours from that. And that's what I was going to do with all of them. But I mean... It just doesn't excite me. So it's going. Peterson Field Guide colouring book. Mammals. This I thought was going to be amazing. But. No not so much. I don't know. I don't know. It does come with exciting stickers though. not happening it's not happening so it's got to go okay this was another charity shop find william morris designs um i love william morris his coloring book it's too detailed it's when we're being honest it's not gonna happen so you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go um, this is going seriously cute colouring. This is a big fold out doodah. It is seriously cute, but I'm not colouring it, so I've had it for a while. It needs to go. I picked this up um, from B&M, I think, Deco Time. Uh, I just thought it was different and unique. How the animal is coloured and you're colouring the rest. But again, it's not happening. I don't feel excited. Animal whimsy. This has got a whip in it. And that says it all. So... I, I like it, but I don't feel inspired. So this is, um, the animals are made up with words about the animals. So uh, this is by Jessica Mazurkowitz, Animal Whimsy. Um, so that one's going. I'm also getting rid of Stunning Succulents. I know. There's, they're too, they're too serious. Okay, that isn't. <laughs> but that's one page. So. No. Getting rid of a couple of Colour in Heaven books. I know that is a shock. Uh, Secret World of Animals special. This is issue 33. Um, images are by uh, Kanoko Agusa. I haven't done anything in here and I've got an official book that I don't work in, so that's going. I've then also got um, issue 59, Animal Wonderland Special. So, I can't just have all these books just sitting here. This one's a little bit different. This is World of Moose. Uh, Fill Me In by Moose Allen. And this is, um, here's the book and you add stuff. Paint the town red as the season takes a turn. Flower Parade. <clears throat> Take your pick of this bunch and bring a blush to every bloom. Um, I like the idea, but this book needs a lot of fixing and attention. So... 
it no it's going this book i was really excited when i first saw it and then a lot of the excitement just went so this is the tattoo flash coloring book by mega munden it's got like this gold detailing in it the images are cool but i don't feel excited to color them there's this this is exciting folding out doodad It, it, it's a good book. I'm not saying these aren't good books. I mean, I bought them in the first place, you know, but it hasn't happened. Creatures Great and Small Field Guide by Lucy Engelman. This one's doing by somebody who's a proper artist with watercolours or something. Okay, and then I've got three... Um, my pile is going to collapse. Three of these colouring book of cards and envelopes by Rebecca Jones. These are by the National Trust. I've got unicorns and rainbows nature and summertime these are really pretty books so these are all cards and this is the inside of your card a bit of twiddly detail on there as well they they are really nice you also get your envelopes that you fold up this is the inside of an envelope so i would say you're not expected to color that that would just be black and inside and you also get stickers to seal the envelope so these are stunning books, but I'm not I'm not colouring them, and they they're big, they're really big. So it's time to move on. I'm sorry. A couple more Pepin uh, colouring books. Um, oh, so this is big. Let me let me twiddle. Okay, so this is Arabian Design sixteen marker colouring sheets so this is 150 gsm um, and these are just all patterns but how many pattern books have i got bazillions so i just don't need this i haven't even opened it the other one that i've got um was a charity shop find art nouveau really pretty but i bet you can't even see the lines they're so faint is this watercolor uh, printed on high quality drawing paper 180 gsm um an animal has chewed the corner i don't think it's one of my animals but you don't know do you? oh this is helpful <laughs> Okay, I've got um, two volumes of Stephen Brown's colouring books. So he's got four, four colouring books, um, four volumes, and I'm keeping one and two, but I'm going to get rid of three and four. Um, these are really nice. Look at it. Stop it. So you get the um, original artwork and then this is the colouring bit. This bit here is perforated. They're so good. These are so good, but I just don't need four. Um, so I've got volume three and volume four of them that are going. And then the last thing... My tower is going to fall down because that first book that I showed you that was really small. <gasps> that's at the very bottom. Okay, I'm also getting rid of this. The 1000 Dot to Dot book Cityscapes by Thomas Pavet. Pavet. Um, I'm not really a Dot to Dot person. So the, these are good. These are really excellent. Um, I didn't do this one. I 
that was already there because I got this second hand I think from a charity shop this one I did did it with a ruler because that seemed like the right thing to do and it's split up um, so that you don't completely lose the plot so like the first 100 were blue and then the next 100 oh I don't know I were black and then the next 100 were orange so that you don't completely frazzle your brain but yeah it's got um has it got exactly a thousand yeah exactly a thousand dots on each picture so it is cool but i'm not doing it it's not happening um and again it's taking up space so that is my d stash um got rid of quite a few um so Basically, if you go onto my eBay shop, which is listed in the description below, that's where you find everything I de stash. <laughs> also, if I find things in charity shops, um, and then I realise I've already got them, they they go on there as well. So, uh, so do visit the eBay store and see if there's anything that you're interested in. Um, <laughs> and these will be going up at some point soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. That helps to support me and the channel. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.